Kitten Bowl and Cat Bowl are almost here, everybody. It's all part of a two-night event starting tomorrow. And joining us now to give us a sneak peek of our favorite two games is the host of Kitten Bowl and Cat Bowl. Please welcome the amazing Beth Stern. Oh, wow. You are amazing. That's quite the intro. No, it's the truth. <laughs> it all. We are so excited Thank to finally you. have you here. I know. And you're not going to a lot, so it's really great that you were Thank able you to make it over me. here. And on that note, we're on to Kitten Bowl 6. I know. And you've been part of this from the very beginning, but yeah. you say this year's Kitten Bowl, there's going to be some, uh, some surprises for people. Yeah, no, I remember six years ago when Bill Abbott came to me with my work in Animal Rescue. He said, do you want to host a show that um, where you're going to be sitting on a field with 100 kittens? Hmm, let me think about this. So six years <laughs> later... <laughs> Thousands of kittens and cats later, um, we now are up to Kitten Bowl 6, and yeah, it is fun. This year, more kittens than ever, and we have a puppy marching band at halftime. And yeah, it's always, a, you never know what's going to happen when you're on a field with I 100 mean, kittens. That's what we love about it. <laughs> it that's what we, so that's why we keep heavenly. touring. And you yes. participated this year, so thank yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the little play-by-play right. play in the cat bowl with yes. Allison Sweeney. We yep. had a great time. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Well, yeah. we have a clip of the upcoming Kitten Bowl with you and all the kitties in action. Should we take a look? Let's take this a look. This is so cute. I cannot believe this is our sixth season. This year, Kitten Bowl 6 is bigger and better than ever. In addition to the most dynamic feline football in our history, we have the privilege of sharing amazing stories of rescue and adoption. Well, you'll get an inside look at the inspiring stories of how these little kittens made it here tonight, including heartwarming stories of special needs kittens and cats that are just simply amazing. Plus, we'll drop in on some exclusive kitten ball parties, and we'll have some live adoptions of kittens rescued from around the country by our dear friends at North Shore Animal League America and Last Hope Rescue. I can see the excitement is spreading to our parking lot, which all weekend long has been hosting the Feline Football League live experience. Do live adoption? Yeah, I thought it was a surprise, but I guess it's not. <laughs> Some of the fosters that were in our home um, that I was fostering participated, so it's very emotional for me. I actually handed off to the Forever families on the set, so that's a special oh, wow. little bonus. Oh, yes. And we went through a lot of the kittens, especially the ones that came through my home, went through their complete journey from their rescue to their time with me to the kitten ball and to then to their forever family. So Aww. it's, yeah, I end up crying I'm every time. I bet you yes, do. And, and just as sweet as these little kittens are, like you said earlier, Cameron had the opportunity to be part of this yeah. as well with the cat ball. The cats are equally as important because these these grown cats also need homes. Yeah, Howard and I need. right now are focusing in our home we foster. We're really focusing on the adult cats and the special needs. I love that we showcase the cat with one eye because we have three of them in our house right now. Mm. Two of them are our resident cats. Or one's completely blind, one has one eye. And they don't miss a trick. So when people mm. think, oh, there's a cat at the shelter has one eye, poor thing, not poor thing. They need a home and they're right. not going to, my blind cat Bella mm. has never missed the litter box. Is so neat and tidy. The way she eats is so much cleaner than any of the other <laughs> resident cats with full vision. They, she's mastered my huge house, and Aww. she's just my she's my angel. So yeah, I love the fact that we showcase the special needs and the senior cats. Right. They're just sitting in cages a lot of times. That's so true. The seniors, their owners pass away, and they end up in shelters, and they've just been loved since they were kittens. Oh, no. And so those are the ones that I love to find forever families. And we for. love how passionate you are yeah. about all this. It's it's amazing. Oh. Incredible work. We, we yeah. one uh, cat that's featured in Cat Bowl is a. Uh, Really special place in your heart. Yeah, Zena was, I yeah. hope we're talking about Zena. Yes. She was one of our seniors. Um, the owner passed away and she passed through our home and spent time with us. And Howard and I felt madly, madly in love with her. And she participated in the cat bowl the night before yep. the, the kitten bowl. We're having the first ever cat bowl. Yep. And she just was, she was amazing. And we found an incredible family for her. And I handed her over Aww. and I'm crying like a baby. Well, you might again, because we got a clip to take oh, a look no. at Zena. Yeah, let's take I a look. I haven't seen this. Recently, eight-year-old Zena's life was torn apart. Zena's owner passed away, and she knew just how hard it is for a cat her age to find a new home. With no place to go, our very own Beth Stern came to the rescue. She and her husband Howard took Zena in and fostered her. And for the first time in a while, Zena had hope again. She's amazing. She started to eat, play, and trust again. She especially fell in love with Beth's husband, Howard. But Beth told me she wasn't eating, so I fed her by my hand. 
We're gonna get you a great home. Yep. This is a great cat. This one's a keeper. Oh, what a guy. I mean, you found Howard, the right guy for you, that's for sure. Um, Howard yeah. is my partner in all my rescue work, and there are times when I'm over, and this is my full-time job. Right. I, I mean, remember well, you had 900 cats come I to your house. I literally have to fly home to New York because yeah. I have to go home, and Howard has just been incredible, and he, thank God for him and his support. There have been times where I'm like, oh, there's a cat, the owner just passed away, but we don't have room, and he says, hun, we'll make room. And he's just yeah. as invested as you are, just like you said. I mean, he names yeah. all the cats. I know, it's so they sweet. Play, they play in his hair. Oh, they love him. But the problem <laughs> The problem is one will come in like Xena and he goes, can we keep her please? And oh. I'm like, no, because somebody else needs needs us, so we right, have that's to. Right. But working yeah. with and, and rescuing animals is something that you've been doing for a long time. You obviously and Howard are, are involved. What was it about rescuing and fostering cats in particular? Right. Oh, our, we had an English bulldog for eight years. We um, got her when she was a year old. And then at the end of her life, it was just so time consuming for me. She was my full time job. They're a mess, these English bulldogs. Oh, so when she passed, I also volunteer at North Shore Animal League in America. And when I would go there I would see cages of cats stacked and I said um, and when Bianca passed away I said I really want to focus on feline rescue I'm a dog person just as much as I am as a cat person just as much as I am as a wildlife person so it has nothing to do with my love for cats but man I love cats so um, it was that moment when Bianca passed that I said let's do and it's been it's been six years since that yeah. and we haven't stopped and it's we're, we're not making a dent, but we're making a difference in those lives that we've well, saved. Well, I, I think look at you it. are making a huge dent. And when I say you foster 900 cats, I'm not joking. Yeah. You really have. Am I, is that the correct number? Well, we're close to 900. Yeah, they've come through our home. Not all at once, but uh, they've come through our home. And, we've, and I've personally deliver them too to the forever family. Yeah, she does all the research, she does all the vetting. Oh, you have she no calls idea. their employers. If you want a cat from Beth, oh, you're going to I know yeah, everything right. about you. Make sure. <laughs> uh, listen, so people out there, they may be on the fence whether they want to adopt or foster a yeah. cat. What would you say to them? Um, first of all, go foster through an organization. They have a whole system and they tell you what to do. You just need one room. Think about your bathroom in your house, your extra bathroom, and think about a cat in a cage stacked up. Mm. Where would the cat rather be? Yeah. In, in your bathroom. bathroom. You need a litter box, you need food, and the in the the shelter rescue usually supplies that for you. So really it's just giving them a break from shelter life and then when they're healthy or you can use your social media to find them homes and the shelter's really good at trying True. to find them homes and you just got that animal out of the shelter and you made room for somebody else so you're saving two lives. Yeah. And you know because you've feels done it, like Debbie said, 900 times. And, so I, and it feels right. good. It feels it good. Does. Yeah. That's yeah. the best part about it. Right? It obviously helps them but it helps us yeah. too, everybody. Right. Thank you so much Thank for you. all that you do Thanks and for being here. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Thanks. Everybody, Thanks. be sure to watch Cat Bowl tomorrow, February February 2nd at 10, 9 central, and then on Sunday, February 3rd, you know what it is. I'm talking about <laughs> Kitten Bowl 6 at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central, right here on Hallmark Channel.